friends, Joe here. Welcome back. Do you like apple turnover the way I love apple turnover? This caramel apple turnover are not only delicious, but so simple, will only take you 30 minutes to make. Let's get to it. So you're gonna need a um, pack of uh, puff pastry and using store-bought. So one pound usually comes with two sheets and we are gonna use both. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the first one. This one aside. I am going to, you wanna let it sit out right when you're about to use it, so about an hour before. And you do wanna stretch it out, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, roll it slightly. I want probably about 11 by 11. You don't wanna stretch it too much. You kind of just want to wake it up. Go ahead and sprinkle some flour so it doesn't stick. about right now I'm going to cut it in uh, four four pieces so I'm gonna go right in the center All right, so I have my eight uh, squares all cut and ready to go. So here I have uh, my um, apple filling. And to make the apple filling, uh, you just have to just follow these simple instructions. You will need four Granny Smith apples. You can also use Honey Crisp or Pink Lady apples. Once you peel the apples, then you cut them into half inch pieces. Then you will add two tablespoons of orange zest, about one large orange. Add in one fourth cup of orange juice, one fourth cup of brown sugar, one fourth cup of granulated sugar, one fourth teaspoon of kosher salt, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, one tablespoon of all purpose flour. Once you add all the ingredients, you want to mix well. Add two tablespoons of butter in a large pan over medium heat. Once the butter is melted, you want to add the apples and cook for about five minutes. Make sure to mix frequently to coat the apples with butter and to avoid them from burning. Mm -hmm. 
Once the apple juices are thickened, remove from heat and let it cool down completely. Now that the squares are done, I'm gonna go ahead and um, start putting the filling. So I'm gonna add the caramel, just about a tablespoon, just right in the center. Yeah. Now I'm gonna put the apple filling. Give about an inch or so from the center, from the corners. And then we're going to fold over like so. And press it down. Like that. Then with your fork, we're going to press it down like this. And it should look like this. Okay, just about that. Now I'm going to uh, put it on my um, baking sheet and I'm going to let it rest in the refrigerator for at least 20 minutes before baking. Okay. And you can put about eight on a uh, baking sheet easily. They all fit nicely. Okay, so they've been out of the refrigerator for 20 minutes. Uh, sorry, I just took them out of the refrigerator. They've been there for 20 minutes. Now I'm going to um, egg wash them, put some sprinkled sugar, and put them in the oven. First, I'm going to go ahead and do these little, um, three little cuts. Kind of let the steam come out, just very small. Okay, just got the last one. Now I'm gonna go ahead and egg wash them. The egg wash is gonna give it a really beautiful, shiny golden color. Make sure you're thorough. Okay, got the last one. Now I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle some um, sprinkle um, sugar. Okay, it makes it nice and pretty and all around. You don't have to do this, you can um, just simply just bake it as is with the egg watch and then after you can do a glaze, uh, you can drizzle it with the, um, car the leftover caramel. Okay, there you go. Now I'm going to uh, put it in the oven. The oven is set at 400 degrees and I will put it in there for 18 to 20 minutes. Just monitor it. Um, once it has that golden color, you can pull it out. Remember, not all ovens are created equal, so I will really monitor um, the baking process. Okay. So, it's, I left, so they were in the oven for 18 minutes, and now we're gonna let it rest. Don't that look gorgeous? So I will wait about an hour before um, you can eat them. They're still bubbling inside. They're very, very, very hot. Here they are. They're all cooled down and I'm ready to take a bite. Look how beautiful. Look at that color. All right, let's take a bite. Mm. Oh my God. The puff pastry the apple filling, the caramel. Not only this is so delicious, but also so easy to make. 
If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button and please subscribe. But most importantly, don't forget to treat yourself to a little goodness.